The old barracks of Trenton, New Jersey was first constructed in 1758 by order of the colonial government to house British soldiers during the French and Indian War. New Jersey, still a British colony at the time, provided soldiers of their own for the war, as well as food and supplies, but providing a place for the British Army to stay during the winter months was one of New Jersey's most valuable contributions. The first and largest part of the building to be constructed was the soldiers' quarters. It was originally comprised of 20 rooms for soldiers, two guard rooms, a large basement for cooking and storing supplies, and an attic for storing tents and other camp equipment. Each of the soldiers' apartments provided room for up to 18 soldiers and included beds, a table, some stools, and a single iron candlestick. Each of the rooms was also provided with a fireplace for warmth and two windows for light. The officer's house was completed a year later, in time for the winter of 1759. Unlike the barracks, which was built with very little ornamentation, the officer's house was built in a fashionable Georgian style, with larger, more numerous windows and a brick facade to distinguish it from the much coarser soldiers' quarters. Where the soldiers' rooms were simply plastered, the officer's house was fitted with wooden molding, and in the entertaining space of the long room, the walls were painted in an expensive Prussian blue. Barracks is significant for being one of the earliest sites in New Jersey preserved by the activism of women. Under the leadership of Beulah Oliphant, members of the Daughters of the American Revolution and the Colonial Dames organized the Old Barracks Association and spearheaded a campaign to purchase the southern portion of the original barracks at the beginning of the 20th century. The Old Barracks Association continued to run under female leadership until the 1980s, with women serving as board members and in leadership positions. In 1912, in the lead-up to women's suffrage, the New Jersey Association opposed to women's suffrage was formed at the Old Barracks and would hold several meetings on site with some of the same women who preserved the Old Barracks being involved in the anti-suffrage movement. To learn more about the New Jersey Association opposed to women's suffrage and the Old Barracks, you can visit our online exhibit, When Women Vote, on our website. The Old Barracks Association continues to be a steward of the Old Barracks to this day, and the museum is one of the most visited historical sites in New Jersey. Thank you.